These days, the ISS is devoted entirely to scientific research, but it was politics which drove its creation. US President Ronald Reagan launched the project in 1984, but by the turn of the decade, it was sidelined as the Americans prioritized their shuttle program. But everything changed in 1991, when the collapse of the Soviet Union left its space program in disarray. Among the scientists who'd worked on it, missile specialists. And the West's great fear that they'd sell their services elsewhere, at a time when countries like Iran, Libya and North Korea had nuclear ambitions. Il y a eu une crainte que les, que les compétences se fassent un peu siphonner côté Russie, surtout qu'ils étaient dans des, une situation à l'époque très difficile au niveau économique. Je ne sais pas si, si l'objectif c'était de récupérer des personnes, gagner en compétences, oui, pour sûr. And it was thanks to the Russian skills used to launch eight space stations that the ISS project was reborn. On November the 20th, 1998, 400 kilometers above Earth, work began on this mechanical giant, a 400 ton structure the size of a football pitch. 110 metres long, 74 wide, 30 high. The largest artificial object in orbit took 13 years to build. Far above our heads, it travels at 27,600 kilometres an hour. A speed which prevents it from falling to Earth and allows the astronauts inside to maintain weightlessness. Ownership of the ISS was spread across agencies according to the contribution of each. And the tightly controlled exchange system was put in place. On est copropriétaire, donc il faut savoir se partager les frais de la station. Alors ces frais, ça pourrait être payé en, en argent, mais euh, plus intelligemment, on fait ce qu'on appelle des barters, c'est-à-dire effectivement des trocs, où on développe du matériel, on développe des capacités de ravitaillement, et on paye donc notre loyer, quelque part, par ce biais-là. For several years, Europe paid its rent by developing a vehicle to move freight and an observation platform. In return, NASA supplied free transport. The ISS has now been permanently staffed since October the 31st, 2000, and is set to be for some time yet. Its mission has just been extended until 2030.